Today, we're going to be exploring friction, a force that we feel when things are rubbing on each other. Friction makes things stick together, and that can work for you or against you, depending on what you're trying to do. Friction between moving parts can reduce the speed of a vehicle, but it's also what keeps your tires on the ground when you ride your bike around a corner. Friction slows down moving things, turning motion energy into heat. You can see that this spinning wheel's temperature is at 75 degrees. But if I slowly apply the brakes, you can see its temperature increases. Brakes use friction to turn the wheel's motion energy into heat energy. The interesting thing is that while friction slows down movement, it's also needed for the movement to even happen. A bike does not move forward if you spin its tires in the air. It only moves forward on the ground because of the friction between the ground and the tires. That is why wheels are made to have a lot of friction against the ground. So, in order to be efficient, cars should have as little friction as possible between moving parts, so as to not lose motion energy through heat. But they also need a lot of friction between the tires and the ground to increase traction.